I swear, the contraptions I come up with in order to record this other angle and stuff is just ridiculous. It quite often includes a box of some kind. There's also usually a bunch of tape on there, which looks like it's kind of tearing away. So hopefully it holds up for the remainder of this recording. <laughs> but anyways, today we're going to be seeing if these Tim Hortons card packs, you know, can win a Stanley Cup. We're going to open these, build a team with them. I used to make these videos, kind of stopped for a bit there, and we're back. So we're going to open these up, build a team out of it. I have nine packs just in case there's people that aren't in the game, because I know that there is, I think anyway, some older players, or maybe there's only one or a few, I'm not sure. But either way, we're going to find out in case I get duplicates and whatever. If people get scratched, then so be it. Also, spoiler alert, yeah, they should win. They should definitely win the Stanley Cup. But, you know, who knows if they actually will. Simulation engine, well, anything could happen really. So although they should be able to win it with relative ease, who knows? We're going to find out. But anyways, let's open these bad boys. All right, pack number one. Great. That side won't give in. And neither will- are you kidding me? Oh, I finally got it. All right, so we got Tyler Sagan, the simulation machine, as the first card on the back there. But boom, we get Matt Duchesne. That's a nice looking card. All right, and then we get- ooh, that's cool. You can see right through it. And- oh, is that the pack thing? Yes, it is. I just hit the mic as well. But a Jack Eichel Phenoms. That is a sweet card. All right, and then our last card here is the Tyler Swagen. That's, I don't know. I, I don't know why I said that. These packs never used to be this hard to open. But anyway, I'm going to try to not look. Okay, so that's my strategy. I open it and then I flip it over so we can do this. Oh, fill the thrill. I think his overall actually went down quite a bit. I'm trying to look at this camera too, just to make sure I got it in there. But yeah, so fill the thrill. We get, oh, standouts Nate Mack. Is that, it's not a see-through card. But anyway, we get Mika Zibanejad. I actually listened to him on a podcast recently. The Basement Yard. <laughs> yeah, that was a few years ago. A couple years ago, actually, but... I'm re-listening to some of the old ones anyway. Is that out of focus? You better be in focus. Never mind. I think it's in focus. Cool. So yeah. Wow. This team's going to be... Well, I kind of knew it anyway, but team's going to be surreal. All right. Next pack here. Let's see if I can get this one open. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. William Carlson. Okay. There we go. Man, I really like the glossiness of these cards. They do a very, very good job of designing these things. So we got William Carlson. We got a goalie. I kind of forgot we need goalies. But there we go. We got Jordan Binnington. I have a few cards like this from last year's Tim Hortons packs, I believe. So... Yeah, here we go. Bennington, and then we've got a Joe Nathan Huberdo. All right. Team's looking pretty good. So maybe there isn't any alumni cards in these. I thought there was. I think there's a Tim Horton one because obviously it's Tim Hortons. But anyway, let's let's see. All right, here we go. More packs to be open. We get Max Patches. All right. So there we go. Another Golden Knights player. We get ourselves, ooh, a cup winner's Patrick Kane. That is a neat card design right there. I'm super down. And then we also get ourselves a Patrice. There it is, St. Patrice. I'm also realizing there's like a shadow right here. So that's that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I can't really do anything about that. I swear I'm about to get scissors. Like these packs are just ridiculously hard to open. They weren't like this last time, I don't think. All right, I moved on to another pack here because that one was physically impossible to open. We get a Jack Hughes. Sweet, I'm down. There we go. First overall pick, Jack Hughes. We get cup winners, Jordan Bennington. So I'm pretty sure that was the other goalie we got too, a.k.a duplicates but yeah we got Bennington in the cup winners format and then we got a William Carlson which is another duplicate so good thing I bought nine packs we are also yet to find a single defenseman so it's looking like we're gonna have some offense playing defense all right this pack was the one giving me all the trouble so I let's see if I can oh my goodness are you, st are you serious I can't even get them at the bottom now even though I snipped it off there we go beautiful we needed that big time so we got Tuka Rask as our other goaltender we get Connor McDavid in the gold etchings. Didn't know that was a word, but I'll take it. Another forward. Defense is going to be a problem for us, but that's okay. Maybe we won't win the cup, actually. And then we get Zach Parise. Okay, so how many packs do we have left? Three? Yeah, we need six defense and three packs. And so far, the math, looking like we're going to get uh, about zero. All right, kind of butchered this one. But anyway, we get a Larkin. So that is cool. I'm down. Another forward, though. Quinn Hughes, finally. We get a defenseman. But, uh, yeah, that's that's a very cool card as well. Awesome. All right. And then our final card is going to be an Alex Debrinkit. Is it Debrinkit or Debrinkat? I've heard it both ways, and I have no idea. But that right there, at least we finally got a defender. I mean, we got our goalies, so I guess that's more of a concern. But, ooh, we got Sasha Barkov. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Nice. There's another forward. We get ourselves... A standout's Jordan Bennington. So that's our third Bennington so far. 
He does look kind of nervous, actually. And we've got Kyle Connor from the Winnipeg Jets. He did good for me this year in fantasy. I say that pretty much every single time I pull him or have anything related to him. But yeah, he was a stud. All right, this one required the CISO as well. It just would not. And now I'm struggling once more. There we go. Another forward. Another Golden Knights forward. We get, is that? Yep. Yeah, okay, it looks like it's in focus, actually. Riley Smith. Cool. Ooh, a canvas pasta. Sweet. All right. I'm down. That's pretty cool. Is there any? Oh, there is. A, there is like backs of these cards too. All right. And then we get ourselves a Seth Jones. Another defenseman. Finally. We got a top two at least. So just to recap all the kind of, you know, I guess not standard looking cards. I got this Jack Eichel card here. It's pretty neat. We get ourselves the standouts. Nate Mack. Sorry, I'm trying to. Okay. It is centered in that camera. We're good. We got ourselves the red Jordan Binnington. We got ourselves a Stanley Cup winner's. Patrick Kane, Hattrick Kane, if you will. Stanley Cup winners, Jordan Binnington. I guess I could show the back if anyone's curious. So that's what the back of the Stanley Cup ones look like. Uh, and then we got the Connor McDavid gold etch etchings. It sounds like it should be etchlings, but anyway. Um, yeah, there we go. That's what the back of that one looks like. And then we've got our red Quinn Hughes here. Defenseman, stud muffin. Bada boom, bada bing. We got our standouts, Jordan Binnington. Looks like that on the back. All right, and then we've got our canvas, Pastanak. Pastanak, that's his name. His nickname's Pasta, so, you know, I call him Pasta. That's what I'm going to go with the excuse. That's why I called him Pastanak. Anyway, boom, there's the back of this one. There we go. Let's go put this team together, see how brutal it is on defense. Well, to be fair, the players are going to be high in overall, but whether or not they'll actually be able to play good defense, another question. Let's go to logos first, and then we'll, you know, make a team name based off of the logo. What are these? Wait, what? Okay, you know what? It's already a team in the ECHL, but I'm gonna make my own Newfoundland Growlers. We need a NHL team out east, Canada. You know what I'm saying? And they're gonna be purple because why not? Actually, purple didn't look too good on the logo, so I'm, I'm gonna just make it blue. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what I'm gonna do. Yabba dabba do. Yo, I swear on my life, these menus are less responsive than NHL. 20. I don't even know why I bother setting up a lot of this crap. We're never going to see it. <laughs> All right, let's start assembling this team. Okay, that should be everyone. We're only only a little bit over the cap, you know? We got 20 forwards, two defense, and two goalies. Are we going to need to add an extra player? Or actually, no. I did that horribly wrong. I think we're going to be scratching two players. Or four players. Because, yeah, there's 12 forwards, six defense, which is 18. We got 22, so... Yep, four players are going to be scratched, and I know one of them for a fact is going to be Hughes, and another one's probably going to be Kessel, or Parise, actually. I'm just going to do best lines, and whatever it does, it does. 94 overall, not a big deal. I just kind of realized we're only doing one year anyway, so I might as well do season mode. I think this is my first time, this is my first time doing a season mode, clearly, because I don't even have the option to continue. I still don't think it's possible to just add a 30-second team, so I'm going to have to take someone out. And I don't know who that's going to be. I'm just going to kind of, I don't know. Will this work? Hey, Siri, pick a random NHL team. One sec. Here are the standings for the NHL from last season. It's not what I asked. I can also give you more information about a specific team. No, I'm good. Oh, no, no. I don't know. Let's just take out the Coyotes, I guess. And let's put in our custom team. The Newfoundland ground, they definitely would not be in this division, but who cares? Let's start it anyway. Let's hop into this season, edit these lines. I'm actually kind of curious to see which players they're going to throw on defense. It's going to be a neat little experiment here. I personally would put Connor McDavid on defense because he's just going to skate end to end. So, you know, that's a benefit of having him on your team. All right, so here's our offense, which is just disgusting. Um, I'm down. I think we are going to do very well. Defense, we've got Hughes and Jones. Yep, and then Duchesne, Larkin, Carlson, Parise. They must be the guys with the highest defense categories, maybe. Four star, three and a half, four, four and a half. There you go, Larkin. Let's check scratch. We got Hughes, Debrinket, and Kyle Connor. Oh, that's lame. <laughs> Whatever, it is what it is. And then we got Rask backed up by 
The nervous guy. Okay, well, actually, I guess I should turn off injuries because that's just gonna be annoying. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna do the coach edit lines thing and I'm I'm gonna leave injuries on because then maybe those other guys will get some minutes. Oh, I'm scrolling down a lot looking for the, <laughs> the off season, the draft and stuff because that's what I normally do in career sims. But uh, yeah, this is season mode. So that's not really a thing. Okay, we're off to a hot start here. Apparently forwards can play defense. So our record is very good, don't get me wrong, but we, oh, I was gonna say, we're not even first in our division. We are now, we just passed the Oilers and it looks like we are starting to attempt to pull away. Speaking of the Oilers, boom, big dub. Yeah, definitely on pace to be a president trophy contender. The Oilers did take us down. Look at that. All right, I wonder if we have had any injuries so far. I'm. Not too sure. Also, I have Blackbuster. What was that? An accent came out that I didn't even know existed. But anyway, I have Blockbuster trade alerts on and I have not seen a single one. So, I don't know what's up with all that, but I guess there's no trades going on here. And we are in the playoffs. So here we go. The LA Kings are down. We've got the Edmonton Oilers who are swept. Okay, it's looking real good for the Newfoundland Growlers here. Boom. Yep, stars are done. And we've got the Tampa Bay Lightning in the finals. Oh, they, okay. Actually, I don't even think they put up the biggest fight. I'm pretty sure. Wasn't there a team that won two games against us? Tyler Sagan led in the playoffs with 22 points. What a beautician. Okay, so let's go check out our team. Yeah, Pasta also had 22. McDavid with 20. Huberto, 19. Our team is just nuts. So we finished with 57 wins. That's certainly President's Trophy. There's no way anyone beat us for that. And yeah, the Oilers were the closest with 107. We had 10 points on them. Pretty good. Pretty good year. Pardon me? Oh, I guess because of injuries. But he had 74 points in 71 games. Huberto. All right. Okay, well, I'm surprised we don't have a single... Well, he is a point-of-game player. But we didn't have a single player that played the full season. It was point-of-game, which is... Very shocking. We even had this guy play for our team, Parise. So let's look at the awards. Boom, boom, and boom. It's pretty much a clean sweep for us, other than the trophy that we could not win. But yeah, individual trophies. We got Sagan with the Con Smythe. Tuka Rass, the other Tuka Rass, took home the Vesna. And then ours got the Jennings. All right, just cloning Tuka Rask out here. So there you have it. Tim Horton's packs can, in fact, win a Stanley Cup. Shocker. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this one and I will be seeing you guys in the next video.